Nice kicker for the University of Tennessee. I mean, it's definitely been a surreal experience. I mean, growing up in this state, you know, just going to Tennessee games, it's just, it's just awesome running out in front of the tee, kicking in front of everybody. Um, I mean, it's great competition all camp, and I'm glad that I won it, and it's just, it's been surreal, really. I think you're five or six to start the season, very successful. Where are you confidence-wise, having a couple kicks on your belt, away from Neyland Stadium, and of course, you know, just the success you've had? You said, what was the question, where am I confident from? Uh, I don't think I'll really limit myself to a number. I think that you know any situation that the coaching staff wants to put me in, I feel extremely confident, whether that be a 25-yarder or attempting a national record. We'll go Ryan Max, how did last year, you know, getting to sit, sit back and watch Chase, you know, did that help you learn some things from him that, that benefited you this year in the, in the competition? Yeah, Charles was. He was such a good resource to learn from. I mean, he did it at the highest level for five years in Indiana and then here. And just really getting a year to sit back and learn from him was really beneficial to my growth and my development as a kicker. How does having a few kicks under your belt right now kind of help prepare you for what could be a situation down the road like Alabama two years ago or something of the equivalent of that? Yeah, I mean, I was really excited that I got a couple kicks week one because, you know, I didn't want to go to NC State with nothing under my belt. So that was definitely good. But like I said earlier, I mean, any situation, we practice them all the time at practice. I feel really confident. What have those practice pressure situations in practice been like, including Josh Heupel's, I guess, kind of been known to kind of get in you guys' face and make it even more difficult? Yeah, we do. And normally fall camp and, you know, every single time spring practice, we go up there and he'll do a pressure kick. All three kickers will get a kick in front of the whole team. They kind of form a tunnel around us in front of the snapper. They're messing with the snapper. They're messing with Jackson, the holder. And Hypo standing over here, standing right behind me, screaming in my ear, telling me I'm going to miss it. And it's really good. I mean, it really, it really prepares you. I mean, practice, honestly, is pretty similar to the game in terms of pressure. And I mean, if I can make a kick with Hypo screaming this close to my ear, I think I'll be good anywhere else. Obviously, you didn't have him yelling at you in your ear, but could did you have any nerves that first field goal attempt at, uh, at Neyland, or was it just kind of going back to your training? And yeah, I mean, every kick, you kind of just black out in the moment and go back, fall back on your training, but definitely a little anxiety, but I always say if you're not anxious, you don't care about it. So the first one was really special to me, and for me and my family, it was awesome. What's your relationship like with both Holder, Jackson, and then long snapper, Slansky? I mean, like Charles, they've been such great mentors to me. I mean. They both got you know a five and six year age gap on me, so it's definitely an interesting room. Jackson, I'm 25, Maddie's 24, and they've just been awesome. I got Jackson's my roommate in the hotel, so just for the game, and he was really helpful with me, you know, game one, game two, because last year how he started, he was really helpful in kind of nerves and just letting me know, just you do your thing, be confident, and go out there and just just swing your leg. Probably sort of a weird way to word this, but how, how did you become a kicker? I mean, did you grow up playing soccer? When did you start kicking in, for, on, a, on a football team? Kind of how did you get to this point? Yeah, uh, so I just, it was pretty random. I think there was a group of moms in my middle school. There was a middle school football team, and they needed a, they needed a kicker. And I was in the soccer, I played soccer my whole life. You know, it was my dream to be a professional soccer player. And then in eighth grade, went out there and kicked, and I didn't really want to do it anymore. I was like, I want to focus on soccer. And then the kicker and the punter for our high school team when I was in eighth grade were both seniors. And so the head coach was kind of like, and even Josh, so my coach in my high school was Josh Jasper, who was uh, an All-American kicker at LSU, won a national championship under Les Miles. And uh, he emailed my mom and was like, I've seen Max kick a couple times. I think he could be really special and we, kinda, we really need one. So I went out there and got to learn under Jas Coach Jasper for years and here we are now. Coach Eckler was really talking all of you guys up in the, in the preseason. What's the Mike Eckler experience been like as a player under him? He is the most passionate coach I have ever met in my entire life. I mean, that's a guy you want to play for. I mean, getting recruited here, he was the main reason I wanted to come here. I mean, nobody cares more about his job and the game of football than him. I mean, win or lose, he's up there every week, same attitude, just 7 in the morning going nuts. And it's, I mean, you want to play for a guy like that, it's awesome. I guess building off of that, what is it like returning to the sideline after you make a kick? And obviously, he's one of the first guys there to meet you. Yeah, after, uh, after the field goal right before the half in Charlotte, he came up and punched me in the chest so hard I lost my breath. And it's, it's definitely, you know, keeps me in check because he's always, I mean, 
his same guy every time, make or miss. He's still excited when I come off the sideline. And definitely when you go off the sideline, you got to brace. I kind of look around where he's at, try to find him so I don't just you know, catch me off guard and punch me. But no, it's definitely an experience. How impressive is what Josh Turbyville is doing on kickoffs right now? Yeah, I mean, I think I saw something exit the other day. I mean, he seriously has the strongest kickoff leg I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've kicked with NFL kickers and, you know, college kickers the highest level. He truly has the strongest leg I've ever seen on kickoff. And he's been super consistent this year. And I mean, pretty much all touchbacks, he's, he's a weapon for the defense. Last one, that energy that Eckler brings, how does it motivate you and push you to be better? I mean, it's, it's easy to play for a guy like that when he's that energetic all the time. I mean, just every day in the facility, every day at practice, he's pushing us, you know, challenging us to be the same guy every single day. And it's really, you know, an honor that I get to play for a guy like that that cares that much about the game of football. Thank you, Matt. Thank you.